Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Everyone, how are you today? Today is Thursday, September 8th, 2022. And my name is Jeanette Collins. You are here on my Facebook channel watching live. Hopefully, I'm going to wait for a few people to come in. Um, this is my, my company name is Stampin' to Connect, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today, what I'm wanting to do is to show you the cutest stamp ever and uh, show you just a, a simple card that we're going to put together. And it won't take long, but I also have some other things I want to show you. So I hope you stick around. Oh, and the other thing is tomorrow, which would be Friday, September 9th, I want to show you the same stamp set, but with the um, uh, the, the, the brand new dies. Okay, well, let's go ahead and go on down to my stamp um, surface and you can see my desk and what I have want to share with you. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is show you the this birthday piggy stamp. And then I'm going to show you a sheet that I have all the dies um, cutouts on. And then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, let's go. Oops, no, don't want to remove me. <laughs> All right, you should be seeing my desk right now. And this is the birthday piggy. Let's see if I can get it to, oh, there it is. It's, it's coming in a little clearer right here. Uh, this stamp set is in our annual catalog, and it's actually, um, the piggies were around, I think, several years ago, but it weren't. It wasn't this particular one. It was just the piggies by themselves, and they are just as precious as can be. So um, this one is the birthday piggy. So it's celebrating birthdays, and of course, you can see the ca the cake. Um, this one's so precious, where he's just he or she is just uh, wallowing in the dirt. And I think the sentiment that goes with this is go to your happy place and stay there all day. And then of course, this one's cute too with him on the little scooter and <laughs> the scooter is blowing out all the birthday confetti. So that is so, so fun. All right, let me show you those dies. Now the dies are an exclusive set that has just come out. Now I have put some of the dies uh, parts, I think all of them, except for the piggies. The piggy dies are not there because they're just the outlines. So what that means is the outlines of these three piggies will be um, dies also that you can cut them out with. All right. And we have the best thing here is the, <laughs> the little wagon. And I don't know if you can see on my view but it's actually embossed where it looks like wood and then they've added some extra little little uh, wheels that you can you know color and put on or cut out with a different cardstock this is the little handle that goes here so you can also use a different color cardstock um, the bunting like a party bunting and this is the little scarf that you can put on ah the scarf you, look it's even embossed too the scarf you can put on the piggy and the bow. The bow may go on the piggy or it may go on this little package right here. We have a little uh, birdie. We have some leaves. We have some flowers. And this is like confetti. And I would put that probably on uh, where the either around the balloon or um, where the where the confetti is coming out of that scooter. So and then there's a nice tag. So that's really neat. And it is. It's embossed. It just has a little bit of a line on it. And so it's really pretty. And so that's the dies. And I'm going to be playing with those tomorrow with the same set. The stamp set can be found in, in the annual catalog. And it is on page 55. It's down here at the bottom. And <clears throat> if you already have the stamp set, then all you need to do is go online and look for Perfect Partners promotion. It actually looks like this and if you, you see this picture online then you will find all the sets that have brand new dies and this is the apple blossom set and then we have the fresh cut flowers 
So these stamp sets were already in our annual or mini catalog, and now they've added the dies to them. Here is the birthday piggy, and you can see on this sample that they've used the dies. Oh, look at all those dies. It's just so great. So if you don't have this stamp set or the dies yet, you actually are in for a great um, sale item because you can you can buy it for 10% off where you will get the stamp set and the playful piggy dies so that is great so if you don't have it go ahead and get the bundle the next bundle are dies that have been added are tree trimming dies and that goes with this uh, trimming the tree set I'm going to move on pretty fastly fast here and then the waterfall dies that goes with Waterfall Canyon. And the last one, I hope I'm not making you too dizzy. I'm just trying to get it to focus. The Yeti dies that goes with Yeti to party. <laughs> so anyhow, so today I'm just using the stamp set. And like I said, it's here on page 55. If you want to just get the stamp set itself, it's, it's so cute. All right. In the annual catalog, let me put that away. And let me show you what I'm going to be using for my card today. Since I wanted to make it easy, I'm not going to fuss too much over all this. What I have here is, this is so saffron cardstock to make the card. And I have an inside panel that we'll put inside. Oh, you know what? I have one more thing to share that's coming on sale. Hmm, should I do it now or should I? No, let me do it now because I, I can share it with you so easily. Okay, hang on. The other thing that we have a promotion on every week, we have new sale items come on every Thursday. So today is the first day that we have all these new uh, products that have come online that are going to be um, marked down. I want to share those with you. So let me share that right here. See, it says September weekly deals. Um, what we are going to do, let me show you what they are. Oh, got to read the tiny, tiny print. Texture Chic Memories and More is on sale. The Texture Chic Memories and More cards and envelopes are on sale. That's, that's going to go really fast. Rose Gold 12 by 12 specialty paper. Let's see if I can make it go up. Hang, hang on. I know I can do this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, the Trinket Adhesive Back Flowers. These are in gold, rose, and silver. We also have the Soft Succulent Shimmer Ribbon. And remember, you can double dip on this. If you're a, a demonstrator now, You, of course, this is going to come up as $6.38 for this whole roll of ribbon. But then if you are a demonstrator, you get a and another additional 20% or whatever your level is, you know, that might give you more of a discount. So that's really great. These slim, slimline envelopes, they are so pretty. I haven't gotten those, but I may have to go ahead and splurge on that. And then we have this white three quarter frayed ribbon. We have the snowy white 12 by 12 velvet sheets. We have the Real Red th uh, Three Quarter Mini Ruffled Ribbon, which is on sale, and that's great just for all year long. And then an, an interesting one that they threw in is the Soft Pastels Assortment. So these are great to use. You can use them as a, like with watercolor or uh, gamisol. And then uh, Fresh Freesia Open Weave Ribbon. Okay, I did it. I showed you. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, let me stop sharing with that go back to me there I am all right let's get back to the card let me put that back up all right so here we are we, we did our little station break okay this is the so saffron with the uh, small card on the inside I'm gonna put that aside for the moment and I've got a white envelope. We will decorate the envelope today. So I'll put that there. I have an extra piece of white cardstock for some stamping. Um, I'm also, let's see, this is what's fun. Uh, I can't grab it with my fingernails. I have this paper. This is the 
paper. This is, um, oh, I can't remember the name at the moment. Isn't that funny how when we get online, it's like I can't, it's like your brain just goes poof. <laughs> I think it's Calypso Coral. <laughs> Anyhow, this is from the six by six uh, color assortment paper. And this one's just so cute. They have the, the plaid and the little dots. So this, use this paper. All of the, they come in a pack of all the assorted paper colors. So use them. It's so fun to use. And let's see, I can't remember which side. I think I'm going to be using the dot side. And then I have um, these small strips. Okay, so this is the same paper, I believe. Actually, it's not. It's it's the same color, but it's the one with the stripe. It's the same assortment paper. Here's the one that we're using because it's got the dots. So uh, we're using those two. And then this one I pulled that comes from another paper group and it comes from um, this Splendid Day paper, okay? And it's got that light green. So I thought that would do really nice on, on our card. Now you may be going, well, what size are all these pieces? As you can tell, all three are the same. So they are four by four. That, that makes it easy. No, four inches. <laughs> oh gosh, Jeanette. Four by one and a quarter, one and an eighth, or one and a quarter, one and a quarter. Four by one and a quarter are these little strips. And then I brought in two more strips. Now this is a, a kind of a contrasting color and it's to help make the colors pop. I want this to be a very happy card. So this is the same, came from the same group of paper. It's got the plaid on the sides, but we're using the, the um, just the red polka dots. And these are really tiny. These are half inch and I believe it's also by four. Yep. Okay, or maybe a four and an eighth, but just a little bit bigger. The other thing I'm using is <clears throat> the stylish shape dies. I'm using the largest square, and that's going to be cutting out my, my image. Okay, so I think that's all of that. Let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is to stamp the image. Oh, by the way, I have another card made exactly like this one that we're going to make but it's just with different papers and different colors and i just want to show you the whole thing it's so cute okay i'm going to go ahead and stamp our piggy right onto this white card stock i'm using memento black ink actually it's memento tuxedo black oh of course i got it on me where is my my cow. Good. Okay. Memento black ink. And I've got this little piggy right here. The happy birthday on the uh, little scooter. And I'm just going to ink him up. And all you need to do is to tap and kind of turn, tap and turn. You can hear it on my, my mic, I'm sure, picking up. And I'm going to stamp it up here at the top. And we're going to, now remember, we're cutting it out in a square, so I just want to show you how the square fits perfectly for this one. So you want those stylish stamps, those stylish shape stamps. All right, so it's got the little scooter, and like I said, the piggy is so, so cute. Now let me get that, that die so I can show you just how it fits perfectly. I love having the square dies in this set. See how it frames it just so perfectly? I just love that. Now, um, I did some coloring already, and actually it's complete on my, on my uh, sample. And it's because, and actually it's one we're going to put on this card, because... I don't like to watch people uh, color. So I've already done it ahead of time. I've used um, like the piggy, you can tell it's used with um, alcohol markers. And I had to use alcohol markers at the bottom here. I actually used um, like a pencils 
and um, and I think even those little bumpy things, I used just a Sharpie marker. <laughs> so, you know, use what you have at home and color in your piggy, the flag. And as you can see, I even colored in some of the confetti that's spewing out of the um, exhaust. So anyhow, the, the, the trick in doing like with the pencils here, I want to show you my little pencils. I don't have the Stampin' Up! ones, but I do have Prisma pencils and I use them. I love them because they're a soft lead. But um, what I did is just take the darkest brown, so you can use these, and, and just turn it on its side and color this way. And just do it quickly. You can go pretty quickly. And then I layered it with a little lighter just to add some more variation. Now this looks like scribbling and that's pretty much what I did. Um, and then I took my Sharpie pen and I, I hit those bumps and it just works. So actually mine's a little darker as you can see. Let's see. I must have done it after I cut it out because you can see I didn't go very far. And it looks like I even used some of the pink to put in to the uh, dirt. So do what you can, have fun with it. I think this little set needs to have a fun colors, like fun, fun, happy colors, because it's, it is happy. The little piggies are happy. They're going, they're, they're advertising somebody's birthday, maybe their own, maybe they're having a special parade. I don't know. Okay. So now back to the card and set this aside because that's what we're going to use. Um, here's my card base and it's going to completely cover my, I think maybe I forgot to cut it. Let's see. Oh, it's too big. Look at that. That means I need to go and cut it down. Let me grab my, cause we want this to the yellow to show. So saffron. So that means I need to cut this a layer smaller. And we know that our card stock is four and a half, four and a half quarter across and five and a half down. So to get a quarter, let's do an eighth. Well, if we want to do a quarter inch, which would be pretty, um, do I want to do a quarter or eighth? Well, if you want a quarter, then that means you need to cut off a half inch uh, from the four uh, this would be four and a quarter, so it'd be three and three quarters. And then if you want to do it an eighth, then you would just cut it at um, four. I'm going to cut it four by the five, let's say five and a half, so five and a quarter. Let me grab my cutter. So saffron is my card base. And here is my paper we're going to layer. Okay, so remember it's four and a quarter already across. So we're going to drop it down to the four and cut. And that will leave me an eighth of an inch on, on the wide side. And then the, the card, the so saffron is five and a half. Well, we want to make it a quarter inch smaller. So we will have an eighth inch border. So that's at five inches. Let's see if it worked. There we go. Looks pretty nice. I think I've got a little bigger edge here. It looks like an eighth here. I must have cut too big. Oh, I know why, because it was five and a half and I cut five. Well, if we can't go put it back on, so let's cut this a quarter inch shorter. So we cut it at four, so another quarter inch would be three and three quarters. So see, if you make a little mistake in your cut, you can fix it unless you cut it really, really short and you have to start over. But these are layers. Now it looks right. You can tell that all the sides look correct. All right. Before I 
I, I guess I can glue this down. I like using my Tombow uh, liquid glue. I'm going to go ahead and put this glue on here. There. That's quick and easy. And I'm going to use my grid to see, just to line it up. There I go. And now I'm going to get those edges the same and the same quarter inch all around. And I did. Okay. So that's close enough. Now I have these um, strips. And like I said, they are one one and an eight, one and a quarter uh, width by four inches. And you can just play around with these. What I want to do is put them in a row. I think I want to put this one. Remember, this is from that Splendid Day paper. I like that light, light color that brings, you know, just contrasts with this. Um, I'm going to lay these across. And yeah, laying them straight across is okay, but I like to have fun. Remember, this is a birthday card. It's a piggy. And notice how I, I did color in the piggy um, uh, scooter that looks like the Calypso coral here. So what I decided to do is I'm going to twist them. So I'm going to twist them this way and that way. And of course, this one, I don't know, should I go here or should I go there? Actually, it can be just either way. I think what I want to do is make sure that the ends touch. That always gives me a nice design. I forgot to put on comments. Yep. Okay. It gives me a nice design this way. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those on. And then these two little strips, the little half inch strips, I'm going to place kind of in between. So they will be placed like in between right here. Now this is just making a fun little, little layout here. Okay, so let me put these on kind of in the wonky, I call it wonky um, design instead of straight across. And like I said, I like that the kind of the ends touch. Okay, and now this one, now I have it kind of, I want it to kind of tilt a little bit there. So turning it over. So glad you're with me today. It's a nice, bright, sunny day here in Texas. Probably going to be too hot. <laughs> I haven't been out yet. My husband and son just left to go um, dove hunting. So that's kind of fun. Okay, and now this one, I'm going to have this one touching over here, but I don't want to put it like exactly parallel to this. So I'm just going to tilt it just a little bit different and maybe almost tilt it like it's almost straight, but just a little bit off. So that's what I'm going to do to kind of give it that fun feel. And that's exactly what I'm doing is trying to get the feel of the card to be a happy one. Okay. So I am now going to touch this corner. And again, I could put it parallel, but I'm going to pull it up just a little bit just to keep it a little different and make it fun. It's still at an angle, but not as sharp as this one. All right. Now I have my two half inch little pieces and I'm going to put it them wonky also. So I'm going to put one like that and the other one I could do both like this, or I could use the back side. Let's see. Let's see. I guess it's the same. Hmm. You know what I want to do is test out my piggy. Let's see. These are actually that poppy. I think it's the, not poppy red, um, the new in color. I'm going to put it on the po polka dot side. Okay, that's how I'm going to put them. Again, I'm on top of um, the center one. Let me get my glue. So once you have your pieces uh, done, just remember when you're um, putting cards together, they don't have to be all 
um, you know, with all these fancy folds and all that stuff, it can be pretty simple. The strips of paper and fun colors. Okay, there's that one. And then let's do this one. Especially when you have a fun stamp like this with Piggy celebrating happy birthday. Somebody's birthday. Okay, I'm going to tilt this one way down. So if you look at it from the side, it looks like a V. All right. And now I want to put my, my center focus on dimensionals right here. So I'm going to turn it over and I did not get my dimensionals ready. So I have to go look for them. Oh, I see them. It's a little scary. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where they are, but I do have them in a drawer next to me too. Okay. I'm going to put the dimensionals in the four corners. So you can tell I use the alcohol marker here because it bleeds through. And that's what you're doing when you're blending. It's actually um, going through, seeping through the cardstock and um, spreads. And that's what makes the blend so nice. Okay. Let's get these little tops off. Put this right in the middle. I'm going to get my card straight again. And I'm looking at my grid lines. Uh, let me get this moved over just a bit. Woo, woo. That looks about right. Okay, one of the th other things that you can do to make this card so fun is to use the Wink Estella. And if you don't have Wink Estella, you need it because it's so, so fun. All you do is shake up the barrel. It's got a water and also some glitter inside. And oops, got too much water. Okay. Um, and all you do is brush on, brush on the glitter like this. It is so easy and it's so cute. So I'm adding glitter to the flag and to the scooter. And I'm going to put a few on these confetti things, just probably all over like that. Now, it's so hard to see on camera, but in real life, when you get it under the, oh, maybe you can't see it. When you get it under the lights, it just sparkles and it's a really fine sparkle. So it's just adding a nice touch. All right. Now for the inside. Um, now, as you can tell, this already has our sentiment here. It already says happy birthday. So on the inside, I thought, well, let's add a nice little sentiment. I have this. Uh, I know I had it ready. Okay. Um, we're not quite finished. I went ahead and die cut this piece and I'm going to glue it on here. Now I could just stamp it on, but I like, I like doing this too. So let's put our, our base in. And this one must be three and three quarters by five. Cause it's going to look like the same front seeing the quarter inch all the way around. So cool. And let's put this little piggy on there, this little tag. And don't forget you can do this. You know, if you have several of these tags made, you know, you do them all at once, then use them for the inside too. So then you don't have to worry about getting it crooked. And put it right here. It would have been fun to do it in a different color. That would have been fine. All right, but so cute, just right there. And then, let's see, what else can we add? I want to add a piece of the coral. 
maybe on the on the bottom here that adds a little bit of fun so let's do that i think i'm going to stretch it from end to end so um my scissors okay let's glue it on first yep 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 and then i'll just snip it off from behind Now, tomorrow will be a lot of fun. I'm going to show you those dies in action. Okay, here. That looks about right. And I'm going to cut it off from the back using my not so great scissors. I don't want to use my good scissors in case I get the glue on them. There. So that's kind of fun and all we need on the front is some I need I need something else here what do I need Ooh, look what I have I have this I wanted to decorate this too Let me, I have the the uh, fine uh, glittery twine I guess it's not really twine ribbon and it's in both of the end colors. And even that, though that they don't match perfectly, they still are so cute. So what I wanted to do, I don't want to cover up my sign. I'm just going to stick it up here to the very, very right and just let it fly off. Just like if he's moving in the, in the, um, the little uh, confetti strings are flying right off with him. So I want to use a glue dot. And let me get my little tool. I'm going to put this glue dot. Whoops. Just kind of scrape them off. Here's another one. I'll put two right away to make sure it holds that ribbon. And I'm just going to put my glue dot on the paper right there. You can see it all stretching out. I'm twisting my little tool. Get it off. There. Now it made that little glob. And I'm going to push this onto it. And it should hold just fine. There. Now see? So when when you get the card, it's blowing like the like it's blowing in the wind. I think that's so cute. So I'm going to leave them long. And when you put them inside the envelope, you'll you'll have them like this. But I like the fluffiness of that. Double, I just doubled up the, I doubled, I doubled up each color and then tied it in a knot, uh, tied it in a bow. Um, I want to do the the envelope real quick. Let me get my paper. Okay, we're going to use the same color, but this is the little floral pattern. It's the floral pattern that we have on the top, and all we do for it. Is we're just going to place this here and snip it off so i'm going to put my glue this time on just the envelope on the on the um flap you don't need a whole lot because it's thin there and we're going to put, just kind of match it right up to the fold line and of course you could have cut this down before adding it. Either way, doesn't matter. But this is going to be my flap. And now all I have to do is cut it out from this side. Again, not using my great scissors because glue may have sipped up this, seeped out and I don't want to get glue on my good scissors. And just easily cut around all the way around. And this is going to give us our matching envelope. Always fun to do. Now, if you have any kind of bling, you can add. Go through your stash. I went through my stash and I found the 2021-23 in color round opal rounds. And I think I'm going to use these this light color right here. I could use the yellow because there's, there's yellow in the so saffron that would work. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the yellow. Well, these look like the freesia. 
I'm going to use the, the yellow just because they're just because of the card is yellow. Oh, come on. Come on. Put one here. And put a cup. Hey, where did it go? <laughs> it's stuck too much. Okay. I'll put one there. Let's get this other one back on there. One here. Stick. There it goes. We'll just do three. And I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it down here too on that little confetti thing. There. So there we go, guys. Easy peasy card, just using strips of paper. I hope you enjoyed it. And tomorrow I'll be back with the die set showing you another card. So have a great Thursday afternoon. Hope you get some uh, cards made today. And don't forget, connect with the people you love and also connect with me. I would love to hear from you in the, in the comments. So but it's more important for you to connect with the people you love and share, share a card. All right. I'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock.